Why don't more people invest in real estate? It's a question that gets thrown around a lot. And I'm going to try and pinpoint the answer to that question. I think a lot of people overcomplicate this business. And I'm going to go through it right now. When you're investing in real estate, you're buying a property or a piece of land or a piece of commercial property. And the goal is to time it so you're buying it at a certain price and you're waiting for it to appreciate value over time. Now, to get a little bit more in depth of it, of what I do is I'm trying to buy a piece of property. I like to buy single family rental homes and I buy those properties. And yes, I'm hoping that it appreciates over time, but I'm also trying to time out, hey, if my mortgage payment on this house is $1,000 a month and I could rent this house out for $1,500 a month, I'm making an extra $500 a month over my mortgage. So I'm making $500 cash flow profit. And so what I'll do is I'll save that money over time and either reinvest it or use that money to pay down my mortgage faster. That's all this business is, guys. We're just trying to buy and pay off real estate. Now, if you rent it to somebody else, essentially there's somebody else actually paying off your real estate. It's not even you paying it off. And so I think there's a big misconception that if you're trying to learn or get involved in real estate, that it's super hard and complicated. It's really not. You're buying an asset, you have it, you're paying it off by either yourself or somebody else. If you're interested in learning more about rental real estate, please give me a follow on my Instagram, Jay Griggs Real Estate, and follow me on YouTube.